Hey everybody, I'm Elder Dunn. Hi, I'm Elder Vaughn. I'm Armando McNabb. Hi, I'm Elder Casperson. Hi, I'm Sister Thomas. Hi, I'm Elder Smedley. Hey, I'm Elder Belknap. Hi, I'm Sister Hammer. Hi, I'm Elder Nelson. The best part about being on a mission is that I get to share the gospel with everyone I see and I get to talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. For me, the best thing about being a missionary is being able to testify of Jesus Christ and His atonement. Share the gospel and be able to see the light that it brings to other people. Seeing the gospel change people and bless their lives. My favorite part about being a missionary is families and the opportunity I've had to teach them and watch as they accept the gospel and just the blessings it brings into their lives. This missionary work is for everyone. It's not just for the missionaries, but it's for the members also. And everyone can be a missionary, especially in these times, because um, the field is white and it's, it's ready to harvest and it's overripe. And we need to prepare ourselves and gather everyone that we can. Just getting to know people and hearing their stories and then just seeing the gospel and the atonement just working in their lives and, and changing their lives. Having the words come to you in the very moment that you need them. And I've grown to love the Book of Mormon. And I know that it testifies of Christ. I know that if we all read it, and if we all gain a testimony of Jesus Christ, then we'll be able to feel the power and the change that it can bring through His atonement in our lives. He's my friend. And he's my brother. And just that fact makes me want to do anything I can to return to live with him again. And I know that the atonement is real, and I know Joseph, uh, Jesus Christ suffered and died for us. And I know he resurrected so that we could one day return to live with our God and live um, with our families forever. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I know my Savior lives and He loves me and He blesses me as I do His work. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's in the temple where individuals truly receive revelation and understand who they are and their relationship with God the Father and Jesus Christ. As youth in these last days, we need to have faith and courage to open our mouths and invite all to come and be with us in the temple and receive the blessings of the temple, that they too may realize who they are in the eternal nature of things. That truly the scripture is, is, is spoken to us by Paul in Romans 8, 16, 17, where he says, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirits that we are the children of God, and if children of God, therefore heirs, joint heirs with Christ, if it so be that we suffer with him. And that's an intended blessing for every one of God's children. What a blessing it is for us to have the opportunity to go forth and open our mouths with faith and recognize truly what a, pri what a priority it is in our lives to open our mouths and share the gospel. Consider your friends who can be blessed by participating in the family history work and participating in the temple ordinances. President Monson has counseled us, quote, Now is the time for members and missionaries to come together and labor in the Lord's vineyard to bring souls unto Him. He has prepared the means for us to share the gospel in a multitude of ways and He will assist us in our labors if we will act in faith to fulfill His work. Brethren, as followers of Jesus Christ, each of you can live in accord with His teachings. You can have a pure heart and clean hands. You can have the image of God engraven upon your countenance. Your good works will be evident to others. The light of the Lord can beam from your eyes. Be thou an example of the believers, applies equally to members. Most have not been and may never be full-time missionaries, but all can be member missionaries. Missionaries serve to make life better for God's children. Heavenly Father loves every one of His children. After all, He is their Father. He wants to bless them with His greatest gift, that of eternal life. Missionaries so teach wherever they serve. 
to help people to develop faith in the Lord, repent, be baptized, receive the Holy Ghost, receive the ordinances of the temple, and endure faithfully to the end.